Oi! Yo, Sloan the female bitch, where the hell is the top 10 must watch winter 2017 video? The only thing you should be watching this season are the sequels, particularly Rakugo. That's it. But what if I haven't seen the first season of any of this season's sequels? Then go through your backlog, dumbass. Watch Evangelion. Watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Watch Legend of the Galactic Heroes. I am so done with this anime season. Wow, you're being a real hater. Can you blame me? We've had nothing but shit throughout the season. That's not true. Listen, I don't know about you, but a season with 90% of the anime being slice of life comedies doesn't make it a good season. And do you know why? It's because there is no plot. It's nothing but cute giggles here and there without any substance. That doesn't mean it's a bad season if we have mostly slice of life anime. That just makes it a relaxing season. You know what? I'm done. To each their own, I guess. If you find the season to be relaxing, I don't care. I hate the season, and I hate anyone who denies to see the truth. You know what, Sloan? You're a piece of shit. Calling your fans stupid? Blocking people for disagreeing with your opinion? Do you actually expect people to like you when you're like this? You said you wanted to make YouTube your full-time job, but acting like this is only gonna drive people away. Ha! Joke's on you because my subscriber rate has been boosting because I've been acting like this. So you like feeling this way? Um, no. I don't like being angry all the time. It just brings me down for the rest of the week. You know I haven't spoken to my friends in exactly a week? It's because it shows when I talk to my friends. Sloan? Yeah? You're turning into an elitist. No! Okay, listen. I'm not going to say that this season is good. Because I believe that it isn't. It's terrible. The worst season in anime history. However, if I look hard enough, then I can find a few good anime here and there. I won't block or silence anyone who disagrees with me. I was just angry at the time and I did things without thinking. Right now, I just want to stay positive and leave the negativity to a minimum. So with that said, let's get started. Number 10, Blue Exorcist, Kyoto Saga. I never thought I would be talking about this anime again. Taking place after episode 17 of season 1, the anime is strictly following the manga. Perhaps I will change my mind about this anime being one of the most by-the-numbers shounen anime ever. So far I do see some changes that are definitely helping the series. Hmm, only time will tell I suppose. Number 9, Demi-chan. You know how I said that the season is filled with slice of life anime with no substance? Luckily, this anime isn't one of them. What if monster girls really existed? How would they interact? Will they fall in love with the first guy who says something nice to them? Or will they actually have problems fitting in? Thankfully, Demi-chan isn't like every other monster girl anime. It's trying to show us a realistic world of the struggles and day-to-day -day life of being a monster. And I like that. Number 8, Akiba Strip the Animation. Maybe I'm biased because I played the game, but no matter. I'm just so happy to have another outrageous comedy. It's obvious that you aren't supposed to take this anime seriously. I mean, come on. We have a super strong foreign cosplayer, and if you're stripped out of your clothing, you die. So if you want a good laugh, then check this anime out. Number 7, Masamune-kun no Revenge. This anime exceeded my expectations. First off, there was a twist that I totally didn't see coming. Second, it's super funny. And third, I don't know what's gonna happen next. Don't worry, in this case, that's not a bad thing. I'm glad I don't know what's gonna be the next move. Perhaps there will be another twist. As long as it doesn't go down the cliche harem route, I'm fine. Number 6, Yao Mushi Petal New Generation. Okay, so things are going a little slow at the moment. That's fine, but I know for a fact that once the races kick in, it'll be a non stop roller coaster of epicness. But for now, it's kind of breaking my heart seeing our favorite third years leave. But this does give a chance for the first years and second years to shine. 
and if there's one thing they're good at, it's not giving up. Number 5, Yojo Senki. It's been almost two years since I had a military anime in one of my ranking videos. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the best person to go to when it comes to explaining what happened in the episode. Even though the military genre isn't my strong suit, I'm still enjoying the anime for how crazy it can get. The main character Tanya is absolutely insane, showing no mercy to anyone. Overall, I'm sticking with the series to be entertained. Number 4, Kuzu no Honkai. We have a very interesting premise, with two main characters dating each other even though they love other people. And the relationship is strictly physical. It's trying to set a mature setting, but can it keep it? I don't want people to believe that just because there is sex, then it's mature. School Days has showed us that that's not true. I'm intrigued enough to keep watching, but if it becomes nothing but a giant orgy, then I'm dropping it. Number 3, Little Witch Academia. Another one of the better slice of life anime to air this season. It's like what modern cartoons are today. How it is supposed to or seemingly meant to be for children, but there's this fun atmosphere that all ages can enjoy. In fact, if you have a friend who is into modern cartoons, such as Over the Garden Wall or Star vs. the Forces of Evil, then show this anime to them. They will most likely not be disappointed. Number 2, Konosuba 2. Immediately, I loved the second season more than the first. All I wanted from the second season was to laugh. And boy, did I. The facial expressions are on another level. The art style is brighter. And the jokes have me laughing till my sides hurt. If there is only one comedy that you can watch this season, then watch Konosuba. Number one should be a surprise to no one, for it is Showa Genroku Rakugo Shinju. If I haven't convinced you to watch this anime already, then I'm just gonna assume that you don't have the time for it. The setting is really hitting me, because you know that any minute, something will die. Whether it will be a person, Rakugo itself, a friendship, a marriage, just something could leave us at any second. And the characters are grasping at straws, doing anything they can to save it. Because if one thing dies, everything and everyone will be affected.